Howdy y'all, Shiki here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Dot Hack GU. I have not played this game in so, so very long. I think back in my middle school days, probably, that's probably like eight, nine years ago, around that time, I first uh, borrowed this game from my cousin and I played it on my brother's old, tiny PS2 Slim. And when I had to return it, um, the game back to my cousin, I was like, I need to play this game again. So I went and got myself a copy from GameStop. I also went and got Volume 3 for myself. I could not find Volume 2, like in my area where I was living. None of the GameStops had it. I did play it, but I had to borrow it from my cousin again. <laughs> I, I borrowed a lot of games from him. But anyways, I have not played the GU series in so long. And when I found out that it's going to be uh, released on the Switch sometime this year, I was like, I'm going to get it. And then I randomly searched up the game on Steam and I'm like, am I going to buy this game on for the PC and for the Switch? Do I like this game that much? I'm like, yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> I hope you guys will enjoy this Let's Play. I'm very excited to jump right back into the world. Because I haven't played in a long time, I'm probably gonna forget a lot of stuff, but it's gonna be like very nostalgic. But yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy going back to the world with me. And let's start with volume one, Rebirth. Let's go. Oh my god. The character customization. Ooh. So bad. I wanted this game to be like real. Like real real. There's our boy Haseo. Dwell Blades. Wow, this is cool. Hey. Hey, you. You, the adept rogue. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. Yeah, I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna All regret right. it. <laughs> it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Get your address out of No, I don't want your address. <laughs> It has been a long time, but I know you guys. <laughs> Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. 
All right, so let's open the menu. Oh, <laughs> press Y. Ooh, oh my gosh, like party. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. Mm hmm. Okay, let's have some fun. I am honored to lend you my sword. I don't want okay, your sword. Great. Get out of here. <laughs> now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? Sure thing. Oh my gosh, I remember these guys. They're so cute. Safe station. Alright. Oh, whoa. I'm so fast. <laughs> whoa. Alright. After preparations are complete, use the Chaos Gate to go on the adventure. So fast. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh, I remember trading. Aw, oh, dang. I forgot, there was always like some items that I always traded, this traded with people. This is a people. transporter called the Chaos Gate. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose Warp Menu. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the Chaos Gate. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock. You can get more words by getting information from other. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Choose courageous from your stock. I remember trying to make the weirdest word combinations. Okay, <laughs> now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right, then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. Heck yeah. So, we've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. This is the area map. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, Look this number of is our mission. Symbol fragments. Missions are basically, um, it looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests. The altars are protected by monsters. Or defeat the monsters first. These are the altar I suggest we first head to each of these items. Now, which is our final destiny? Okay, now that we've completed. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. Turn to town, healing function. Okay, this time let's really get going. <clears throat> Yo, I can't, I forgot if it's when we get it, but we do get a motorcycle at one point. That was fun. <laughs> I would always ram it into the monsters. <laughs> Nice! We found an altar already. I know there's like little... I think there's like <laughs> mini... mini games or something that require you to actually be good at driving the motorcycle. 
which I'm not <laughs> good at. We got him. Once the battle begins, the battle area. Asta and I don't have. Oh hey, you're not too bad. Not too. Bad. Can I relief? Really? Yeah, keep it up. That's it. Uh, be the guard. I. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't let this be like Dark Souls now. Well, that's that, I guess. Woo. <laughs> I forgot to kick him open. Oh, this is so nostalgic. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah! Awesome job! Alright, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position just like we taught you. Okay, man, just gotta go down. Um, I doubt I need a heal. Woo woo! This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game's story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. You sure? Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. I think this is the part. Well, you'll see why. Why I'm so salty about these guys. You'll see. Stop following me. <laughs> six feet. Give me six feet. <laughs> Thanks. The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all, this is my reward! Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? Oh, come on, 
Say something already. Hello. <laughs> I swear. Just pretend to be their friend. And they fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're still around, aren't you, kid? Huh? What the? Welcome to the world. What an idiot. Ha. <laughs> hmm? I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! <laughs> Do 
Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's a legendary PK, shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, you think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? Yeah, I think I can. So it's you. You, the character that stinks of death. The terror of death. You're the PKK. Hello. The <laughs> players who kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world so easily these days. But is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them? I don't have time for this. Not now. You have no authority, and it earns you nothing. So why? I am the leader of Moon Tree's Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki, and I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Did you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? <laughs> Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. Atali, do you know this person? Uh, no. Atali. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. <laughs> just a case of mistaken identity. Hey you, why don't you just... Huh? A text message. Delta Hidden Forbidden Waterfall. Waiting at R.K. Kelm. But who sent it? <gasps> Ovan! Just hold on a moment. Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember, what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. It's been a long time, Haseo. Or maybe I should call you the Terror of Death. You've gotten quite strong, a lot stronger than you were back then. Well, I was forced to become stronger, thanks to you. 
You, where have you been? Haseo, always the reliable one. I knew I could count on you. When the Twilight Brigade broke up, why didn't you come then? What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. It was such a small seed. I needed to find out what was growing inside. And there was only one way to find out. That's why I decided to raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking figuratively. When you suddenly disappeared, we all just... Why did you disappear like that? After that, she knows. Paseo, do you want to know about Triage? Wait, you know Triage? Six months now, and Shino hasn't come back to the world since Triage killed her. Meanwhile, the real life Shino is lying in a coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Triage. He is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? Yes. But that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triage, you might learn something about Shino's coma. You may also learn more about what really happened that day. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triage, then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today at the scene of the crime scene of the crime you mean delta hidden forbidden holy ground the place where shino was killed the whole grand's cathedral yes finally i'll get my chance i swear i'll bring shino back i'll do it ovan yes you and I, we're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. <laughs> Ovan? I'll meet you at the Holy Ground. There are some things I must do. He will be back today, at the scene of the crime. Triage is coming here! of a girl here. A girl? That's right. She was called Aura. I wonder, why'd she disappear? Who knows? Maybe she just lost her interest. Lost hope for this world. Sound. Dry edge. 
Huh? What the? I was fighting Tri-Edge, but then... Damn it, I can't remember. Huh? I don't remember doing that. Reformatted? What's going on? What about my emails? Ho oh, back. Back when I didn't have internet or a computer or a laptop. This this was my um my pretend PC. <laughs> Reformatted. Got it, got it. Okay, okay, okay. We'll check your emails. Nothing. I would never delete these. They're all gone. Even the emails I got from Shino. Everything's been reformatted. What the hell is going on? An email? Fine, let's take a look. Bovan? Sender Ovon. Subject choices. There are two paths before you. One of these will lead to safety and shame. It is a path where you give up the world and never log in again. The other path leads to peril and pride. It is a path where you continue the world and resume your research for the truth. Let me be blunt. The latter path is tortuous and will threaten both your mind and body. Once you have chosen it, there will be no turning back. If you still choose to walk this path, then there will come a time when you and I will meet once again in the world. When the time comes, I will once again say this to you. Welcome to the world. Trial and truth. Trials and tribulations. Whether or not I should quit the world? You should know better, Ovan. Yeah, what else am I gonna do with my life? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the world. And then, I'm gonna get Shino back, no matter what! Hmm. 
I think... I don't know if it's in this game, but I know I used to... They had uh, episodes of the anime, um, Dot Hack Roots, that I would watch. Just over and over again. <laughs> yeah, you're able to collect music so they'll play backgrounds. You can also have like different wallpapers. It was like a real computer, except you couldn't really play online with actual people. Oh yeah, it didn't occur to me, but Haseo sounds like Sasuke. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if the voice actors are the same, but I am getting the vibes. I mean, they're both edgy. And they both got like similar hair hairstyles. Eternal Makanu. I don't even know if I'm saying these right. What's going on? Why is my equipment different? What the? Uh, I'm back at level one? What about my items? My member list? My equipment? <laughs> gone. It's all gone. My whole character has been completely reformatted. Hey, did you see that guy just now? With the really weird arm? <laughs> totally! Arm? Ovan? He would know something about this. I think this will be a good place to stop for part one of Dot Hack GU. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this so far. I am excited to play more, and hope you guys will continue to join me on this journey of nostalgia. <laughs> but yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.